Welcome back to another edition of MDH Minute, and this time we're going on an audio podcast, and today's guest we have Brittany Dahl, Director of the Laboratory Services here at McDonough District Hospital. Welcome, Brittany. Thank you, Pat. So, Brittany, let's start off with how many years have you been at MDH? I've been at MDH for six and a half years. And how many years have you been the Director of the Laboratory? Uh, three and a half years. Obviously, with 2020, COVID has really been the theme of this year, it seems like, with all of our operations. How has COVID changed operations in your lab? I would say it's changed operations tremendously. Um, we've had to overcome many hurdles. Some of those hurdles included immediate pressures and challenges of insourcing COVID tests. Um, we've had to navigate the world of FTA EUA approval for diagnostic testing and then um, subsequent quality issues associated with tests that are approved under emergency use authorization. Um, we've had to struggle navigating just the demands of testing, not only internal to the laboratory and internal to MDH, but also out in the drive through uh, We've had to implement daily courier runs to IDPH. By implementing daily courier runs, our goal was to try to meet the demand and ensure prompt delivery and acceptable turnaround time of tests. Uh, and then most recently, we've had to transition our laboratory from being a single site for service to actually performing and um, collecting specimens across two different sites, including the drive through So much of your focus lately has been surrounding COVID and the testing. How many COVID tests would you say your lab handles in a week? On average, currently, it's around 500. It has been higher in the past, but it has been lower in the past in other weeks as well. Currently, we're averaging about 500. And that's a very impressive number, even considering the times that the Illinois Department of Public Health has come in and offered free testing out at Western Illinois University. Our numbers have really stayed consistent, haven't they? Mm -hmm. They have. So you also have some great new news to report on COVID-19 testing at our MDH drive through And recently, we should note that laboratory has taken over operations of the MDH drive through So now you get to perform the simple nasal swab test instead of the uh, nasal pharyngeal test. Mm -hmm. Yes, that's true. Um, so recently, the lab has switched to collecting nasal mid-turbinate collections. Uh, for RT-PCR COVID-19 testing. Um, this is in, uh, in line with CDC guidance, and the new test is less invasive and also more comfortable for the patient. And the one question that I think everyone's going to ask, it's still as effective and it's still as, I guess, the, the percent is pretty much the same as what it was before, if not better, with the nasal pharyngeal? Yes. So if patients have orders from their providers, in special circumstances, they can request a rapid antigen test. So can you describe what a rapid test is and the criteria to have one performed? Absolutely, so the rapid test is an antigen test. It is performed on site in the MDH laboratory. Um, we are currently offering on average a 30 minute turnaround time. The criteria for the test includes that the patient must be symptomatic they have to be within their first day, seven days of symptom onset, and they do require a provider's order for testing. Brittany, you've been very involved from the beginning with the drive-through tent. Have you been surprised by the number of people who have taken advantage of that service? I have, yes. I have been pleasantly surprised. I think that the drive-through um, has really offered a needed service in our community during these trying times and that the popularity of this service attests to the demand of the drive-through service methodology in our region. I don't know if it, um, if it appeals more to certain population types and also the type of testing, but I think, I think it has been revered very well. Now, you've also been involved from the beginning with the construction of the MDH drive-through. What has that been like being involved with that project, of, with a project of that magnitude? Um, I would say that that has been a large learning opportunity. I've been involved more on the construction side than I have in projects in the past. Um, but it's also an exciting project because it's going to give us a lot of opportunity to collect um, blood specimens out in the drive-through and really just 
help provide a service that the patients are obviously asking for. Our goal in the laboratory when the new building opens is to really grow the phlebotomy experience out in the drive through I have a whole team of very qualified, capable, and skilled phlebotomists ready to provide that service in that location. And I know it's only a matter of time once patients get to know them that they're really going to want to come back for their services um, time and time again. Well, a lot of exciting things going on with the MDH Laboratory. Brittany Dahl, thank you very much for your time today. We appreciate it. Thank you, Pat. This has been another edition of MDH Minute for Brittany Dahl. I'm Patrick Osterman. Thanks for listening.